today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Series Raphael. Coming for ages 10 and up, Raphael contains 38 pieces. It's pretty much the same framework, it looks, other than just the swap out of images up the top there, as the Leonardo and Donatello that we've already had a look at. The Classic Turtles also feature metal shells, which is really cool as well. Spin the right back of the package. Supreme articulation, you can build them. For that matter, really, you could customize them as well with swapping out the different head expressions. And that just gives you an idea of Raphael uh, lunging as you can have them suspended up on the pipes as opposed to standing them on the display stands. Uh, www.tmnt.megablocksbloks.com to check out more. And Spot's gonna take a break. Put this together, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the classic series, Raphael. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With the help of the included instruction guide, you can take, well, a box of pieces and get yourself something that looks like this. I love the artwork on the front. And again, very straightforward. You can pretty much do this with your eyes closed. There's the turtles on the inside. I wish they were this color, and I'll probably talk about that a little bit when we have a look at the figure, but I wish they were actually this color and not this very bright neon color that we end up getting instead. Some foot soldiers, the build Krang spots can be looking at as well. And your very, again, straightforward instructions. Put that to the side. Okay, so not 100% probably correct. I just kind of put the pieces in same sort of vein as the other turtle sets that we had a look at. You've got the same pipe work, the same steering wheel. Everything about this is the same except for the artwork that's at the top. Now we have Shredder with a foot soldier. Uh, Raphael taking on Shredder on his own. Comes with a sewer manhole man cover display stand, which... You know, you could really just take this completely off and just stand them on as such, which I might ultimately end up doing. But the novelty of these is something we've already had a look at. You would take these, bring in like the other turtles that we had a look at. We've got Leonardo, we've got Donatello, and these attach to one another. And of course, these you'll have to move around because they'll butt up against one another. But these all kind of connect and give you one large sewer pipe display diorama. Eh, not crazy about them, but at the end of the day, it's the turtle figures I'm more interested in than the display stands. I might just ultimately take these completely off and just keep the display stands on their own. We'll just move these guys out of the way for the time being. We'll come back to them. Don't worry, we will. And having a look at Raphael, let's bring the camera in. Again, he's this very neon color green. He's got the red head, uh, red headband, red elbow pads, red uh, wristbands, and knee pads. They are super articulated. Ball joint legs, hinge uh, rotation in the feet, rotation legs. I mean, everything you could possibly want these turtles to do, they seem to be able to do them. I guess the only hiccup that I have with the turtles is the legs. Like this area right at the right at the thigh area, it can be a little problematic to get the legs to adjust just right. And the legs do come across a little short and stumpy, especially when you look at the very large arms that end up whole, uh, ha having on uh, Raphael. I feel like his legs should be like a little bit longer to, to make them just right. A perfect scale, if you ask me, was the Nickelodeon line that Mega Bloks is also producing. Why we don't get figures that height which are, again, about that much different in height, is they were getting very small classic turtles. They should have really just kept the same scale across the board. I would have easily forfeited some of the articulation in favor of a little bit bigger of a figure. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, Raphael comes with uh, the, what, basically, like the elbow pads, the wrist pads, everything is rubber about him, even the headband. The belt can house his included size, which unfortunately look a little big on him when you start putting the size in there. They just, they should be smaller to incorporate or to, <laughs> they should be a little bit smaller in comparisons to his hands or his belt area. But then when you put them in his hands, they are the right size. 
which again gives me that feeling that they just seem a little awfully proportioned or under proportioned I suppose put the size in his hands there you have Raphael he also comes with a shuriken as well which I guess theoretically you could put in there as well but it just looks looks big and I, the culprit is really the little short legs they've given him the back is a metal uh, shell same as his other brothers as well now what I was talking about with uh, being able to swap out the pieces there's Donatello which isn't as bright of a green as Raphael here but what you can do is you can take the heads off like that They're very easy to take off like that put the new head on and you're thinking to yourself hey wait a minute that's he's got a purple headband that's not possible you can also take the headbands off of these something I probably should have done when I actually had the head on there still take the head off place Raphael's headband like that coloring wise yeah it's not quite right you can see what I mean you can swap them out that's not an expression that Raphael would ever have but just to show you guys what I'm talking about and once again just change the headbands the kid in me absolutely loves these classic turtles over the uh, the Nickelodeon ones but I think the culprit unfortunately for these particular ones is that they're just too small I wish they were a little bit bigger I wish they were just a little bit longer about the same height as the uh, the Nickelodeon turtles I think I would love them just a little bit more uh, as far as I know, the only thing we've gotten so far, for, for these at least, is the Rocksteady and Bebop sets that came with the Foot Soldiers. Spot will be looking at those. And also we've got ourselves the Krang. Uh, I don't think we've actually gotten ourselves a Shredder yet, so hopefully that will be coming very, very soon. In the meantime, today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Series Raphael. Stay tuned, guys. Spots can have more collectible spots and more turtle reviews heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. <music>